Hey guys, Rolando Rodriguez here with xgains.com. We've got workouts that work, eats that satisfy, and everything else you need to reach your lifestyle goals. Today I want to talk about something that might unmotivate a lot of people, might put some people down, but the truth is the truth, and I think uh, a lot of people got to understand this before they start off on their weight loss or you know mass gain journey the truth is to change your body takes time losing weight takes some time but gaining lean muscle mass takes that much more time depending on whether you are right now meaning if you've ever worked out before how hard you typically train, how much muscle you have on your frame, and how much muscle you've gained in the past, you may be able to gain a lot of muscles. We're talking 10, 15, 20 pounds of muscle in a year, okay? But if you've been working out for a long time, and you've been working out right for more than two years, the truth is you've probably made a lot of your muscle mass gains in terms of long jumps and gains already. So your quick muscle mass gains have sort of already happened if you're natural. You go unnatural, you can gain lean muscle, but that's a whole nother ballpark, a whole nother game we're talking about. So let's stick to being natural, right? So to recap real quick, if you've worked out for more than two years and done it properly and done it right, you're at a stage where your body is probably gaining about you know one to five pounds of lean muscle a year if you get up to five pounds and you're freaking doing awesome okay and I'm gonna show you something that might discourage some of you or might motivate the rest of you in three two one so these are some pictures of me and what you see is me at 165 pounds right after my initial weight loss then me 90 days after doing P90X2 and then me a year later and then a year after that. As you can tell from these pictures, these 165s look totally different. I have a lot less muscle mass at my original 165 after losing all my weight than I do when I weigh 165 nowadays. But it's taken three years to build that muscle, to change my body's lean mass to fat ratio. The recomp has taken time. Yes, you can lose weight and do it drastically and quickly. Okay, but with losing some of that weight, you're gonna lose some of the muscle. A lot of people go on these bulking cycles, and if you go on a bulking cycle and you just pig out like I've talked about before, you're gonna gain some lean mass, of course, but you're gonna gain a lot of fat. Now remember, it's easier to lose fat than it is to lose muscle, but if you have to do drastic cuts and aggressive cuts to lose however many pounds you wanna lose to get back down to your ripped weight, you might be compromising some muscle mass gains with that drastic weight loss. So if you gain lean mass slowly and with that slowly gain some fat, you will have to diet down less to be quote unquote ripped. Therefore, maintaining more of your lean muscle mass gains. And the truth is it's gonna take time. I lost the weight quickly in 90 days. I gained some pretty lean muscle and you can see some some fat back uh, in the next 90 days with P90X2, I still think I looked all right. And then fast forward a year later, that's where I was at. Leaner than when I finished P90X2, but it took an entire year. And then the following year, and I'm continuing to work at it. As I stated before, what I did last year to stay a little bit leaner throughout the year was I incorporated the low carb, high fat diet for almost nine months out of the year. And this year I'm doing about the same thing. So I try to cut back on my actual quote unquote dirty bulk season. Treat myself every now and again, but I've tried to maintain clean eating for the most part throughout the year. I want everybody out there to stay motivated, but the truth is, is you gotta know that it takes time. So even though you think this video might be taking some of the wind from underneath your wings, it's not. I'm hoping to keep you afloat, right? To keep you up in the air and going towards your goals. So if you've lost the initial weight that you wanted to lose, but you don't look visually like you wanna look, especially if you wanna have more lean muscle on your body, you can continue to work at it. And every year you'll retain a little bit more muscle when it's time to cut. And if you do it right, it'll happen sooner, but it still takes time. Unless you just started to work out the other day or you just started to work out quote unquote right, 
You won't be building pounds and pounds of muscle in the next three months to a year. Two to five pounds of muscle throughout the year would be great, especially if it's lean. You've heard this before on the internet and I've heard, I forgot exactly where I heard it, but the quickest way to look like you gained five pounds of muscle is to lose 10 pounds of fat. So even if you gain two pounds of muscle throughout the year, that's great gains. So that's it for now. This is Rolando Rodriguez with xgains.com. Please like, subscribe, and share the channel if you haven't done so already. I'd greatly appreciate it. The website again is x dash. That's the uh, symbol, not the word gains.com. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace.